research because I'm in the pursuit of the truth. Now, your, your truth, you can't say to me, oh, I believe what you believe because you told me a very nice story. You can tell me about apple, apple's got skin, it's got the seed. Do you know what I mean? You can tell me about the egg, you got the shell, you got the... None of, none of this is relevant to what we're talking about. Jesus Christ himself in your Bible is saying um, that he was sent by the only God. And Jesus Christ was sent by the only God. So he didn't make him part of the Trinity. Nowhere in the Bible does he say Trinity. Nowhere in the Bible does Jesus Christ say he is God. Does that make sense? No, no, well, okay. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to leave. Let me finish this conversation. Okay, you leave me now, ne next Saturday, yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Okay, but I'll be here next Saturday anyway. No, no, yeah. I'm, I'm out. I'm out of yeah. the next time. Yeah. Then we'll see again. I appreciate the respect, I'm my friend. You take you. care, yeah? Yeah, makes sense what you're saying. But in the same time, there are too many verses that they are pointing <laughs> towards a Trinitarian God. So, so show me what verses. In the beginning, the word, the word, John 1 1. Yeah, the I was the word, the word, the word was, with, was God, with God, and the, the word, word was God. Yeah. And a couple of verses down, the word walked, walked with us in the flesh, took the flesh. So that word. A couple of verses down, I'm not sure about that. Yes, John. Yeah. I can open the Bible. And you have the Bible? Yeah, show me the Bible. Uh, but again, Google. you're telling me. Again, you're reading meaning into this. Does that make sense? At the beginning was God. And in the, the beginning. Yeah. That's the start of time, the start of creation. Yeah. Because in heaven, yeah. there is no time because it's eternal. So you don't have like uh, the date of, let's see what date we are today in heaven. Yeah. That's so no if we, time. If we change the word word into God yeah. and read the verse. So at the beginning was God. God. And the God, and the was, with God, God. With, was with God. Does it make makes you, 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 it makes two persons. <laughs> exactly. So right now you using this as an evidence for Trinity. Yeah. I'm using this as an evidence for contradiction. Because yeah. right but now then, you believe. Then, then let me finish. When, let me finish. Jesus. Let me finish. Um, sorry. No, You're saying um, you believe in Abraham. You believe in Moses and their teachings. Mm -hmm. Yeah. They never taught this. So you've come with something new. So it's either Moses and Abraham was wrong. Yeah. And this Bible, who wrote it? This verse you're quoting to me, who wrote this verse? Uh, which one? Um, at the beginning was the word. That's John. Yeah. The Who's witness. John? It's one of the apostles. No, it's not. It is. No, it's he not. is. No, it's he not. walked with him. How many, how many Johns are there? Right now. There are you... a couple, but this John is the John how that you know? was there. Because, how do you know? Because it's a witness. It, how do you know? It, it's, it's not just in he the Bible that it's that John. Himself. He doesn't this... even have a last name. Does it make sense? Right now, you're telling me this is a disciple. When I speak to other people, Christians say, oh, he wasn't a disciple. So you have to make up your mind. So I'm saying to you, um, I'm a little bit short on time. Yeah. In conclusion, I'm going to let you have the last word. And then I might address it. Go on. I'm not going to say anything. Because I, don't, cause I, I, I don't feel want like to. I interrupted you a few times. No, or you, I don't want to be rude to you, so just, I want you to say No, don't worry. No. Yeah? So, I'm not... I'm, I don't have the Bible in my mind. I just... I just seen documentaries and the only ones that fits with the Bible, which I couldn't find the contradiction in the Bible, is uh, is Christianity. There are so many problems with uh, with the Quran. It's been written after about five or six hundred years after Jesus was was around, and it was written by people that they. You know that statement is incorrect. Right now, the Quran, um, our primary source of preservation, isn't even written. Does that make sense? Right now, in you reach, do your own research, right? In a university in this country, in Birmingham, they've got carbon dated Quran. Carbon ago. dating doesn't work. Watch Kent Hovind. Pardon? Watch Kent Hovind. You know, and do you, carbon what? dating doesn't work. It's too many assumptions into this science. So you don't believe in carbon dating? No, yeah? because an, right now, a snail how many people? How many people do you know who've memorized the Quran? Word, I mean, sorry. Oh, how many people do you know? How do you, the, how do you know? Know. how many Christians do you know have memorized the Bible? None. <laughs> None. None. They they know. They would know verses. 
Okay. But they wouldn't memorize the This Bible. is the month of Ramadan. Yeah. yeah. You, we go to the mosque, you have people who are reading re from memory know, the Quran, word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. So stand. you're telling me we have a chain of narration to the Prophet, peace be upon him, from people who memorize it directly from his mouth. The entire Quran. And you're telling me it hasn't been perfectly preserved. Your Bible, what language did Jesus Christ speak? Aramaic. Aramaic. Yeah. What language did the disciples speak? Both. Aramaic and Greek. Hebrew. Hebrew yeah. also. Greek was spoken also. by the Romans who were the leading class. Mm -hmm. Right? Now, um, the Hebrew people were the slaves. Does that make sense? Yeah. So, now, the Bible you refer to. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, and just to put that into context, so you've got um, the people in authority, the, the educated, the Romans, the army were the Romans. They spoke Greek. Yeah. Yeah. And then you've got the serving class, the slaves, um, who spoke Hebrew. Your Bible. Yeah. Um, the New Testament. What language do you have in here? In the New Testament, I think it's Greek. I think. I'm not sure. You're right. Mm. So at best, you have a translation of a translation of a translation. Yes. Not even in the language Jesus Christ spoke. Yeah. Therefore, you've got so many um, mistakes with the translation and so on and so forth. What language did the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, speak? Well, the same that you, you still have it. <laughs> Arabic. Arabic. <laughs> and the Quran now, what language do we have it in? Arabic. Arabic. So on that note, my friend, the last thing Christians should be doing is criticizing and the preservation of the Quran. Because I'm talking about um, the carbon date Quran in a university in Birmingham, but we've got people memorizing, millions of people memorizing word for word, letter for letter, dot for dot. You can go to a museum in Turkey and get the Quran, Usmani Quran, does it make sense? In a university in Cairo. So. We don't, um, we're not even saying, oh look, we've preserved it in writing. That's secondary. We've preserved it in writing, but first we preserved it in memory. I understand. So when you say to me that you looked into the Islam and you found content, like you, you didn't, wasn't satisfied with how the Quran was preserved, it's better, it's more preserved than the Bible. So why would you use that as your argument? It is. I'm not using it as an argument. So why do you believe in Christianity? Because it's, it's because Quran has got... Uh, it's a different story from the Bible. The Bible doesn't contradict and it presents your sin since wait, wait, wait. thousands of years saying, ago. There's no the same in the way it is now. And the, the, the thing is between the Quran and Christianity, like you're doing, you are a sinner. So, so I'm going to pause you for one second. I'm going to pause you for one second. So you're saying the Bible doesn't have any contradictions? No. And you're saying the Quran has contradictions? Uh, I'm not too sure because I haven't read it. But I know the Bible, it doesn't. Okay. That's all I know. But you just said a but moment ago the Bible has contradictions in it. It doesn't. It doesn't. The Bible doesn't. No, no, you said the Quran has contradictions in it. And now you just I'm, said you haven't read the... I am assuming that the, but the don't Quran assume. is God. Because, because I you can't assume. You can't assume that. From a documentary, I'm not saying from uh, exactly where, uh, I know that in the Quran you will find a contradiction. Like uh, the Prophet Muhammad was never uh, fooled by Satan or so ever. And then you find somewhere uh, further in the Quran that he was sending uh, uh, praises through birds to reach God and th that's incorrect. I I, I'm just whatever, whatever documented. I, I don't remember exactly. I, I suggest whatever you watch, you forget because that's not in the Quran. So no, it's right. yeah. I will stick with the Christianity for now. If I find something from the Quran that brings like Christianity down. The Quran, the, the, the Quran doesn't want to bring the Quran, um, the Quran doesn't want to bring Christianity down. Right? No, we're just truth, affirming. The truth is we're affirming. The truth. So which, whichever is with the truth higher, that's the winner. The truth is, right? 
Jesus Christ in the Bible says the only true God that he was sent by. Yeah? And I quoted um, John 17, 3. Yeah? Do you want to read it out loud? Yeah. yeah. But in the same time, Jesus was a human. Don. Verse 3. What does it say? Verse 3. And this is life eternal, that they might know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. I have glorified thee on the earth. I have finished the work which thou gavest me to do. And now, O Father, glorify, glorify thou me with thine own self, with the glory which I had with thy before the world was. And if you like, you can read even read he it was, from the beginning. So, so in, you can read the few in verses, the, in three verses thing, before if you want. From the beginning, it tells you he was. Have you, have you understood that thing? What that in the beginning, before the beginning, was he was. My Who friend, was before the beginning, my friend, my friend, other my than God? <laughs> it's either Jesus Christ is God, or he was sent by the only God. Which by is the only God. But there you go. So right now, the Trinity that I believe in, it tells me that the Godhead is made of three. But you believe in this way. Jesus Christ didn't teach it. He is. Where? Doesn't make well, sense. Go, go home. Do your own independent pray research. To, pray to God. Pray to God the Father. And he's teaching us how. He didn't, he but didn't in say the that. same way. He didn't say that. In, well, he's showing us how to do it. In, and then the Holy Spirit wait, descends upon himself. In Mark 12, 28, Jesus Christ was asked, what is the greatest commandment? He replied, um, the first of all commandments is, Hear, O Israel, the Lord our God, the Lord is one. So far we've been speaking for, however long we've been speaking for, you haven't mentioned anywhere where um, Jesus Christ says Trinity. Does that make sense? Let Everything you're coming with, three are one. Let me see. you're not going to find three or one. I, I, Brother, don't know if you're... I need to be off, so I'm going to let you take over. Okay. Um, so far, yeah. Yeah, come, come. Do you, wanna, you yeah. don't like bringing the camera? I sent yeah. it to my mom because she yeah. is a Jehovah's Witness. You can do this. No, 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 don't worry. I can speak though, but I don't want to be on the camera. I don't want yeah. That's fine. Speak now, I need to go, so I'm just saying yeah. this conversation is what over. Where is it going? Where are we speaking about? No, 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 no. Just one sec, give me one sec.